Hello, this is Chris from RhinoTech here with an instructional video on the Sun Angel printers and how to change your color in the design uh, to the colors that are needed to actually output the white. So what we have here is our uh, regular RhinoTech design. It's got some funky colors in the Rhino and then the wording in white. Got a black background just to kind of show you what it would look like on a shirt on a black shirt. So what we're going to do is start off on kind of explaining how the printers work. Uh, the Sun Angel printers have one printer that has a standard CMYK and another printer that actually has white cartridges in there. So what we'll do to start off is I have my design set as labeled as color and white. Um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print my colors first. That's just kind of the generalization that we use when we're doing this, that we just put the colors down first and then either put the white on top of it or put the white second. So I'm going to take out my all my white that I have in the design and I'm going to send that to the, my CMYK printer that just has the white colors. Once that's done, I'm going to then put that same sheet I just printed the colors on into the white printer. And now in my design, I'm going to actually bring back my white and I'm going to get rid of my colors. Now, the printer itself doesn't actually recognize white. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually either change it to an R255 value in RGB or change it to uh, M100, Y100, and CMYK. And the reason for that is the cartridges in the white printer are actually in the magenta slot and yellow slot. So obviously CMYK, we're going to use 100% of the M slot and 100% of the white, uh, the yellow slot. And then in RGB, that R255 tells the printer to use 100% of the magenta slot and 100% of the yellow slot. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to now make this like a red color. And I'm going to print that out and it's actually going to come out white because there's white cartridges in those two slots, the magenta slot and the yellow slot. So that's kind of a generalization on an easy way, um, or an easy design, I should say, of just a color above and some white lettering below. Now I do actually have another design of my little skateboard monster. So uh, he's a little more uh, intricate that we have. I can show you, I can take the color out of here and you can see everywhere there's supposed to be white. It's not just a basic underneath the design, it's actually in the design. So I actually have this separated out as color and white. So I'm actually going to get rid of all my white, print that out, and then I'm going to actually bring my white back in. I will actually get rid of then my color. And for my white, once again, I'm going to either change it to the R255 or the M100, Y100 red color. So bring that up, change all my colors. Now you see it's red. Now I go ahead and print off and I will now have color and white in my design. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.